The Kalahari Desert is a large semi-arid sandy savanna in southern Africa extending for 900,000 square kilometers, 350,000 square miles, covering much of Botswana, parts of Namibia and regions of South Africa. Topic: <inaudible> Etymology. <inaudible> Topic: <inaudible> Kalahari is derived from the Sawana word Kgala, meaning the great thirst. Or Kagalagadi, meaning a waterless place. The Kalahari has vast areas covered by red sand without any permanent surface water. Topic: Geography. Topic: Drainage of the desert is by dry valleys, seasonally inundated pans, and the large salt pans of the Magadikgadi Pan in Botswana and Atasha Pan in Namibia. The only permanent river, the Okavango, flows into a delta in the northwest, forming marshes that are rich in wildlife. Ancient dry riverbeds called Omurumba traverse the central northern reaches of the Kalahari and provide standing pools of water during the rainy season. A semi desert, with huge tracts of excellent grazing after good rains, the Kalahari supports more animals and plants than a true desert, such as the Namib Desert to the west. There are small amounts of rainfall and the summer temperature is very high. The driest areas usually receive 110 to 200 mm to in of rain per year, and the wettest just a little over 500 mm in. The surrounding Kalahari Basin covers over 2,500,000 square kilometers (970,000 square miles), extending further into Botswana, Namibia, and South Africa, and encroaching into parts of Angola, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Topic: <laughs> Climate. Topic. North and east, approximately where the dry forests, savannas and salt lakes prevail, the climate is sub-humid rather than semi-arid. South and west, where the vegetation is predominantly xeric savanna or even a semi-desert, the climate is Kalaharian, semi-arid. The Kalaharian climate is subtropical average annual temperature greater than or equal to 18 degrees Celsius, at peaks reaching 40 degrees Celsius and above, with mean monthly temperature of the coldest month strictly below 18 degrees Celsius, and is semi-arid with the dry season during the cold season, the coldest six months of the year. It is the southern tropical equivalent of the Sahelian climate with the wet season during summer. The altitude has been adduced as the explanation why the Kalaharian climate is not tropical. Its altitude ranges from 600 to 1600 meters and generally from 800 to 1200 meters, resulting in a cooler climate than that of the Sahel or Sahara. For example, winter frost is common from June to August, something rarely seen in the warmer Sahelian regions. For the same reason, summer temperatures certainly can be very hot, but not in comparison to regions of low altitude in the Sahel or Sahara, where some stations record average temperatures of the warmest month around 38 degrees Celsius, whereas the average temperature of the warmest month in any region in the Kalahari never exceeds 29 degrees Celsius, though daily temperatures occasionally reach up to close to 45 degrees Celsius 113 degrees Fahrenheit 44.8 degrees Celsius at Tui Reviran Rest Camp in 20. 12. The dry season lasts eight months or more, and the wet season typically from less than one month to four months, depending on location. The southwestern Kalahari is the driest area, in particular a small region located towards the west-southwest of Saraksebis southeast of Namibia. The average annual rainfall ranging from around 110 mm close to aridity to more than 500 mm in some areas of the north and east. During summer time in all regions rainfall may go with heavy thunderstorms. In the driest and sunniest parts of the Kalahari, over 4,000 hours of sunshine are recorded annually on average. In the Kalahari, there are two main mechanisms of atmospheric circulation, dominated by the Kalahari High Anticyclone. The north and northwest of the Kalahari is subject to the alternation Intertropical Convergence Zone ITCZ. Continental Trade Winds. Quote dot. The ITCZ is the meeting area of the boreal trade winds with their austral counterparts what meteorologists call meteorological equator, and the sailors' doldrum, or pot au noir. The ITCZ generates rains in the wet season, whereas the continental trade winds cause the dry season. 
The rest of the Kalahari is subject to the maritime trade winds, that largely shed their moisture as they cross up and over the southern African Great Escarpment before arriving over the Kalahari. There are huge subterranean water reserves beneath parts of the Kalahari. The Dragon's Breath Cave, for example, is the largest documented non subglacial underground lake on the planet. Such reserves may be in part the residues of ancient lakes. The Kalahari Desert was once a much wetter place. The ancient lake Magadikgadi dominated the area, covering the Magadikgadi Pan and surrounding areas, but it drained or dried out some 10,000 years ago. It may have once covered as much as 120,000 square kilometers, 46,000 square miles. The Kalahari has had a complex climatic history over the past million or so years, in line with major global changes. Changes in the last 250,000 years have been reconstructed from various data sources, and provide evidence of both former extensive lakes and periods drier than now. During the latter the area of the Kalahari has expanded to include parts of western Zimbabwe, Zambia and Angola. <laughs> Vegetation and flora Due to its low aridity, the Kalahari supports a variety of flora. The native flora includes acacia trees and many other herbs and grasses. The kawano fruit, also known as the horned melon, milano, African horned cucumber, jelly melon, or hedged gourd, is endemic to a region in the Kalahari Desert specific region unknown, even where the Kalahari desert is dry enough to qualify as a desert in the sense of having low precipitation, it is not strictly speaking a desert because it has too dense a ground cover. The main region that lacks ground cover is in the southwest Kalahari southeast of Namibia, northwest of South Africa and southwest of Botswana in the south of the Kigalagadi Transfrontier Park. For instance in the ZFMG Kau District Municipality of South Africa, total vegetation cover may be as low as 30.72% on non-protected farmlands south of Twi Reviran Rest Camp and 37.74% in the protected from cattle grazing South African side of the Kigalagadi Transfrontier Park. These southernmost Kalahari Zirak savanna areas are truly semi-deserts. However, in all the remaining Kalahari, except on salt pans during the dry season, the vegetation cover can be clearly denser, up to almost 100% in some limited areas. In an area of about 600,000 square kilometers in the south and west of the Kalahari, the vegetation is mainly xeric savanna. This area is the ecoregion identified by World Wide Fund for Nature as Kalahari xeric savanna AT1309. Typical savanna grasses include Schmidia, Stipagrostis, Aristida, and Aragrostis interspersed with trees such as Camelthorn Acacia aeraulaba, Grey Camelthorn Acacia hematoxylon, Shepherd's Tree Boscia albitrunca, Blackthorn Acacia mellifera, and Silver Cluster Leaf Terminalia sericea. In certain areas where the climate is drier, it becomes a true semi-desert with ground not entirely covered by vegetation open, as opposed to closed. Vegetation. Examples include the north of the ZFMG Kau District Municipality, itself in the north of South Africa, and the Keetmanshoop Rural in the southeast of Namibia. In the north and east, there are dry forests covering an area of over 300,000 square kilometers in which Rhodesian teak and several species of acacia are prominent. These regions are termed Kalahari Acacia Baikiaea Woodlands AT0709, outside the Kalahari Desert. But in the Kalahari Basin, a halophytic vegetation to the north is adapted to pans, lakes that are completely dry during the dry season, and maybe for years during droughts, such as in Atasha Atasha Pan Halophytics AT0902 and Magadikgadi Zambesian Halophytics AT0908. A totally different vegetation is adapted to the perennial fresh water of the Okavango Delta, an ecoregion termed Zambesian Flooded Grasslands AT0907. Topic. Fauna Topic. The Kalahari is home to many migratory birds and animals. Previously havens for wild animals from elephants to giraffes, and for predators such as lions and cheetahs, the riverbeds are now mostly grazing spots, though leopards and cheetahs can still be found. The area is now heavily grazed and cattle fences restrict the movement of wildlife. Among deserts of the Southern Hemisphere, the Kalahari most closely resembles some Australian deserts in its latitude and its mode of formation. The Kalahari Desert came into existence approximately 60 million years ago along with the formation of the African continent. 
Although there are few endemic species, a wide variety of species are found in the region, including large predators such as the lion Panthera leo, cheetah Asinonyx jubatus, leopard Panthera pardus, spotted hyena Crocutta crocutta, brown hyena Hyena brunnia, and cape wild dog Lycon pictus pictus. Birds of prey include the secretary bird Sagittarius serpentarius, martial eagle Polemetus bellicosus and other eagles, the giant eagle owl Bubo lacteus and other owls, falcons, goshawks, kestrels, and kites. Other animals include wildebeest, springbok and other antelopes, porcupines Hystrix australis and ostriches Struthio camelus. Some of the areas within the Kalahari are seasonal wetlands, such as the Magadikgadi pans of Botswana. This area, for example, supports numerous halophilic species, and in the rainy season, tens of thousands of flamingos visit these pans. The biggest threat to wildlife are the fences erected to manage herds of grazing cattle, a practice which also removes the plant cover of the savanna itself. Cattle ranchers will also poison or hunt down predators from the rangeland, particularly targeting jackals and wild dogs. Topic: <laughs> Protected areas. Topic. The following protected areas were established in the Kalahari Kagalagadi Transfrontier Park Central Kalahari Game Reserve Cuts Game Reserve T.S. Walu Kalahari Topic. Population Topic. The San people have lived in the Kalahari for 20,000 years as hunter-gatherers. They hunt wild game with bows and poison arrows and gather edible plants, such as berries, melons and nuts, as well as insects. The San get most of their water requirements from plant roots and desert melons found on or under the desert floor. They often store water in the blown-out shells of ostrich eggs. The San live in huts built from local materials. The frame is made of branches, and the roof is thatched with long grass. Most of their hunting and gathering techniques replicate our prehistoric tribes. Their mythology includes legends of a god Chikara, protecting them from starvation and death by sacrificing his own life by being hunted in the form of a deer and other wild game they hunt for food. Bucks is the enemy of Chikara and is in the form of snakes which are found in considerable numbers in the Kalaharian Desert region. Bantu-speaking Sawana, Kigalagadi, and Herero and a small number of European settlers also live in the Kalahari Desert. The city of Windhoek is situated in the Kalahari Basin. Topic. Kalahari, San and Diamonds Topic. In 1996, De Beers evaluated the potential of diamond mining at Gope. In 1997, the eviction of the San and Bagalagadi tribes in the central Kalahari game reserve from their land began. In 2006, a Botswana High Court ruled in favor of the San and Bagalagadi tribes in the Central Kalahari Game Reserve, claiming their eviction from the reserve was unlawful. The government of Botswana granted a permit to De Beers Gem Diamonds, Gope Exploration Company Limited to conduct mining activities within the reserve. <laughs> Settlements within the Kalahari Botswana Gonzi T. Shane Chabong Orapa Gabarwa Namibia Gobabis Mariental South Africa Reetfontein Noeput Topic See also Topic Kigalagadi Disambiguation Topic. References Topic. Topic. Further reading Topic. Maine, Michael 1987. Kalahari, Life's Variety in Dune and Delta. ISBN 1868120015. Topic. External links Topic. Cry of the Kalahari Kalahari Desert's Forgotten Influence on Carbon Levels